Well, Peter, um, got the draw on Saturday. Um, I think you're quite happy with the way that the, the game ended, the way it was going. I suppose it's important to take that momentum now to Fleetwood, isn't it? Yeah, I think last Saturday against Crawley, they had the best of the first half. I think that um, they probably deserved maybe to be leading, but not on chances. I think they had more uh, better play in open play. Uh, but I thought that we finished the half not bad, of course, with a very good goal from Leon Leg. Uh, and I thought in the second half, we had better chances than them. And um, so I felt as though we could have won the match. Uh, but I thought a draw was about right. And, uh, but certainly not, you know, we, we, we certainly deserve something. Mm, I see. And then, I mean, the games keep coming thick and fast and no easier. Fleetwood's going to be a tricky mm. test, isn't it? Well, if you play against a team that's got promotion the, the year before, nine times out of ten they've got momentum, and uh, so they've carried it on. You know, it's uh, I know it's only a you know a, a, a newish club, uh, but they've got some good backers there, and they've got some very good players. So, and got a very good manager. So I think we you know we know it's going to be a tough game, but uh, I actually you know feel as though that um, we've you know got something out of the last few matches. Rochdale was was better. Mm-hmm. Um, got a point. Preston here was, I thought, some very good things. Last Saturday here was some good things. So I think we are, you know, even though we're on a poor run, yep. uh, I don't think the performances um, deserve that run. I think our performances deserve a little bit better than that. Mm. Well, if you look at the two teams' form, um, Fleetwood haven't lost a home, Gillingham haven't won away. There you go. It's, uh, it's easy to suggest mm. it's going to be a home win, but football doesn't work out like that all the time. No, I, I'm, certain, I'm certain that we're not easy pushovers away from home, even with our record at the minute. Yeah. And I'm sure Fleetwood uh, would feel the same way as well. They'll have enough respect for us as we've got for them. So, uh, But, you know, I'm, you know we've, had a, we've had a decent week uh, and, I, and I'm looking to go up there to, to get a good result. Mm. Um, I was reading um, some comments from the chairman in... in Last week and talking about patience and, mm-hmm. and everyone's got to be patient, haven't they, with the team? That's the key word, isn't it? Uh, I think so, uh, but you know you always want you know you want your the board of directors and your backers to to be patient. That's what you want, and and I'm sure at most football clubs, if things are not going as planned, uh, there there could be reasons for it. May not be reasons for it. May not be may not be good enough. Uh, but I think that in our case, I think we've certainly got reasons that uh, that maybe we haven't put out our best team every week. Uh, and I've got no doubt that eventually we get everybody available. We'll be a decent. team. Team. And, um, you know, I can't remember what team it is, but there's somebody recently that weren't doing so well and all of a sudden they go and win three or four matches on the spin. Exeter, I think it was, where they were really, really struggling and now all of a sudden now they're a point of a playoff. So I think we're a team that's capable of that, but we need to get that win. And you, I suppose you need to be able to name the same team all the time if possible and have the same players available. Yes, it would be nice. As I say, that was a question put to me uh, last week. You know, do I know my best team? Well, no, I don't at the minute because we haven't consistently played together. Uh, in you know, because of injuries that we've had, and uh, so it's not been easy for anybody to know what the best team is. So, uh, but you know, the players that are fit and well and training are working as hard as they can. Um, all we can do is to prepare and get ourselves up to Fleetwood and, and uh, surprise a few. How frustrating is it as a manager knowing what team you could pick out? pick and put out and what team you do put out um, well it is honestly that is frustrating but I'm sure I'm sure there's a lot of managers that are feeling the same way as me at the minute you know and um, you know you'd love to never have an injury uh, and you'd love to always have the selection problem because you've got so many players that are all fit uh, but you know I'm sure there's other managers around and, and you know I know we've been recently speaking about the injury side of it you know you're, at times you're lucky or you're unlucky you managed to bring in uh, Michael Doughty didn't you yeah um, you know, great impact by all accounts mm-hmm. uh, played well um, you've been looking at bringing all the players in or is that just the one um, well, I think what it was is that we then ha- we had a couple of doubts again last week. Um, Pritchard, we wasn't sure because he came off the game against Preston. Uh, we wasn't sure if he was going to be fit. So we were really down to bare bones in midfield players. That's why in the end I had to uh, think of uh, who we could bring in. I'm absolutely delighted that we've got Michael here. Uh, he looks to me uh, he's going to fit in very nicely here. Uh, but at the moment, no, I've you know I've only looked at the situation of you know. 
not just keep bringing people in for the sake of it. I still look at the, the striking side of it. Now, we've got Antonio German, we've got Luke Norris, and you've got Cody McDonald, and we haven't had Danny yeah. for a while. Now, all of a sudden, he's back fit and well, hopefully. Um, so, I think we have got enough in the building once they are fit. Uh, it's just that we've been really, really unlucky on getting injuries at the wrong time that's made us a little bit light, you know. Yeah, I see, okay. But hopefully, hopefully I don't need any more. I'm, I'm, I've got Michael in at least for a month. Hopefully we can do that a little bit longer. Uh, hopefully Courtney House is back soon. Um, so we should be very soon being in a position to pick a, str a slightly stronger team. When do you have a conversation about Michael, uh, maybe extending it? Obviously, do you start now or...? I have done, yeah, I, 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 but only because, you know, when I talk about extending it, I'm talking about whether we could keep him till January, you know, we've we done it very quickly for a month just to see how Michael uh, would fit in, to me he'd fit in perfectly straight away and if it means that he's interested in staying until January, um, then I think that's what we would like to do and, uh, you know, I'm still hopeful there's, there's a chance of that but I've got to go back to, to QPR. I see, okay. You, you will have your, your captain back um, this weekend, uh, Doug Loft. What? What sort of impact can he have? Um, well, he's a very, very good player. And, uh, you know, people know um, the standard that he can play. Uh, he can score goals from midfield. Uh, he can lead. And, you know, he's, a, he's the captain. He can be the voice. Uh, and he can keep the ball for us. So um, he's, a, he's the perfect midfield player. Uh, unfortunately for him, he's had a little bit of a frustrating time here uh, because of the Achilles problem and then the sending off, which is... You know, it's been a little bit of a stop-start season for him. So, and again, that's where we've been a little bit unlucky. You know, uh, you know the, at Port Vale, he probably played 40 odd matches. He got smashed at the end of the last season from a teammate. <laughs> and otherwise, he probably would have played nearly all, all the season. But uh, we haven't, we haven't smashed him. But he has got injured. Fair enough. Um, I don't expect you to uh, name your team, but um, him and uh, Michael in the middle—that must be exciting. Um, well, I like the balance of the left foot, I must admit. That's one of the reasons I wanted Michael here, because, um, you know, I, I, I do, I'd, I'd, love, I'd love to have a team of five left footers. That's what I'd like to have, you know, because that denial helped the balance of the team. Mm. And, uh, and, you know, when Courtney plays, uh, and then you've got Joe Martin, and you've got Doug Loft, and then you've got Brennan Dickinson, and you've got Michael Dowdy, you've, you've got a chance. So, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. And, uh, you know, I've got to take it all into account, um, you know, who's fit and who's right for Saturday.